Hey, this is Darlene with RealMini.info. Today we're going to learn how to change your AT&T Wi-Fi and password in 12 steps. Let's get going. All right. The first step you want to do is you want to open up your browser and you want to type in myhomenetwork.att.com. Okay? and hit enter and then step two what you'll see is the AT&T smart home page or smart home manager home page and uh, that'll come up and then step three what you're going to do is you're going to type in your AT&T username and password and click sign in okay step four you're going to click on my Wi-Fi ain't nobody else's Wi-Fi but yours so just click on my Wi-Fi that's all you got to do. Yep. For step, well, at least for step four, that's all you got to do. <laughs> step five, you're going to click on edit. Step six, you're going to look for your network name and then click on the X to delete it. Step seven, you're going to type in a new Wi-Fi network name inside the box. So whatever you want, this is your chance to make up your own Wi-Fi network name and just type it inside. It's going to be a box. Just type it inside that box. Now, step eight, we're getting into changing your Wi-Fi password. So yeah, you, you can think of whatever type of password that you want now. And this makes, you, makes it more secure as well. So go to where it says Wi-Fi password or Wi-Fi network key. That's the same thing. That, and step nine, click on use custom Wi-Fi network password. You're going to click on that. After you click on that, step 10, you're going to type in whatever you, you know, whatever password that you like inside of that box in there. And then after that, you're going to click on save. Now, it may not happen, but if you are asked, because sometimes AT&T, uh, in order to make changes, uh, people who belong to AT&T, they, they're asked for their what's called device access code. If you're asked for that, you can get that from the side of your router or underneath your router. It's called a device access code. It's like a long number. And what you do in order to make these changes for, uh, you know, ch you changing your Wi-Fi name and password, type in the device access code and then click on, I believe, submit and then save. But if you're not asked for that, don't worry about it. All you have to do after you make changes to your Wi-Fi name and then uh, create, you know, make changes to your, the Wi-Fi uh, password. Click when you click on save; those changes should immediately take effect. Okay, so don't get stressed out if you're like, "Well, I don't see it. I don't see it." Then that means you don't have to uh, worry about that. <laughs> now, this is very important for step eleven: log all your devices off the internet. Remember, you just created a brand new Wi-Fi name and password. You don't want to have nothing to do with that, that old <laughs> uh, Wi-Fi name and password anymore. So log all your devices, smartphones, tablets, computers, uh, smart TVs, everything off of that old network. After you do that, shazam! <laughs> Step 12, log everything onto your new Wi-Fi network that you just created and enter in the password this is done now do this on every device in your home and that's it you did it shazam i'm sorry i keep saying that because i can't believe a little a little kid just says that one word and he grows up to be that 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 superhero like that but <laughs> oh boy <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you like this video, if I did it in an easy enough way where I, I included every step. Please email me, leave a comment, and please subscribe. And also, if you like your technic te uh, technology explained in an easy way, subscribe to my channel and go to my website, realmeaning.info or easydefinitions.com. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. <laughs>